Hey guys, Colonel Dan here. We just had the special event, the blind deck challenge, where basically they give you a random deck and you are faced up against other people. It's pretty interesting. And I only got about, what, four or five wins on that? Yeah, um, it was pretty hard since, after all, I'm only, um, I'm only accustomed to playing with one deck that I am almost close to getting... Look, if I had 2,000, yeah, but no, sorry, not 2,000, 2,000 times 10, 20,000 gold, then I would definitely um, upgrade the Zap, because Zap is definitely such an essential card, then probably next to Fireball, the Fireball would be able to take out, um, oh, I never even clicked on the Angry Barbarians yet, no, not the Angry Barbarians, the Elite Barbarians, that way, that's why they still have the new and the Tornado, they still have the little new um, banner on them, it's pretty cool. So anyways, this video is meant for showing off this deck that he played with. It is pretty fun. It has um, four legendaries, I believe. The Lumberjack, the Hog no, the Lumberjack, the Graveyard, the Ice Wizard, and the Princess. So yeah, he says good luck, I say good luck, just like how it always goes. And we are playing the Blind Deck Challenge. This is why I have all these special cards. I actually, no, actually I have all of them except the graveyard, well, the legendaries, in fact. So, look, look at that graveyard lumberjack combo. I don't know why he doesn't really respond, but that's going to take down that tower. So, um, luckily the fire spirits were there and he reacted quickly, or else those skeletons along with the rage would have decimated his king tower. And that wouldn't have been much of a fight, wouldn't it have been? Anyway, um, we are going to defend against the Hog Rider, but we don't have actually enough um, elixir. For some reason, he zaps my King Tower, but now it's going to lock on to the Hog Rider, which unfortunately takes down our tower because we wasted too much elixir in the beginning. But anyways, we are about even now. I think he's going to have to defend there he goes. And yeah, we're going to quickly take down his Tombstone. Tombstone is actually quite a worth card nowadays because I remember before where it was only used in earlier arenas, and now it, yeah, now it's pretty useful. It, especially in higher level gameplay. So let's just drop this cheesy expo on the our side and it's going it's going to target and once it targets to, on to the tower nothing can make it untarget. I have to get the, rid of those archers before they completely destroy my expo and right now it's still getting some more damage off. It can probably get it down to what 500 health? Um, come on, the Lava Hound's gonna tackle one. So about 400 health. Not that bad. Not bad at all, considering it's an expo. We have to defend against this balloon, but we don't really have any air targeting cards, so I mean our fire spirits would be. And I have to poison. That's going to damage the balloon, but it's gonna get two shots in, unfortunately, and do a hefty amount of damage. Um, we are going to have it... We are going to have to drop the graveyard and hopefully yes the graveyard and take out that black tower over there of his and i mean the graveyard doesn't really um release skeletons that much but over time it can be okay that's the point of this card um okay i have to defend he has a lot of how on my side it's going to come to the king tower after it defeats that expo um yeah right now what we're doing we basically have the game, we just have to destroy that left tower which is destroyed now, and now it's just um, defense I guess. If that balloon got to our tower, I don't know, we might have, that would have, that, that could have been a completely different story. Let's see if we can go for the one here, with the lumberjack, three crown win, can we get it, and just drop it down there, and yes, as you can see, that is the gravestone, no, what, no, the graveyard in action. Apparently it has uh, some gravestones with a few X's on them um, when it is dropped onto the arena, but yeah, quite a strange card and in quite a strange special event, the Blind Deck Challenge. If you guys haven't tried it, try it out for yourself, guys. This has been Colonel Dan. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video, guys. Goodbye.